And did you know that there was going to be uh, nudity before, or were you um, at a, in any way a little leery about that? Uh, I knew there was going to be nudity. I was kind of leery about it, yeah, yeah. but the script was really good, and I, you know, I've been offered other movies with nudity in them, and um, but I never thought it was necessary for the movie. I didn't think that really there was any reason other than to show off, oh, there's a naked hot girl on screen, and that's kind of really stupid, in my opinion. For this movie, it was, I mean, for me at least... She, in the beginning of the movie, for example, is really shy. She won't do it. She's like, we'll show, you know, her boobs for like two seconds. And as the movie goes on, she gets freer and freer. And I saw that as necessary. And for their relationship and how close, like, you know, it's his video camera. Why wouldn't he capture her naked? They're in love, you know? So I saw it as, you know, kind of necessary, although I was still nervous about it, but. You know, I I walked through it. I did it. Yeah. It, it was a pretty small set, too, or um, crew. I yeah, it was a small crew to begin with, and it was even smaller when I was naked. So, yeah. yeah, no, I felt very safe. They were very cool. And Randall always made me feel better. Like, he, like I have a scene where I have to be skinny dipping in a lake, and it was like mm, 40 degrees. It was freezing in the lake, and I had to pretend that I was like, it was really fun, and, you know, I'm having a great time. And Randall, to make me feel better, jumped in the lake with like his boxers on yeah. to make me feel better and he did that for a bunch of the scenes just to kind of say well I did it so now you get to do it I'm like okay so that was nice you know what happens to guys when they go into cold water right oh yeah I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 definitely <laughs> so, so he's got he's got balls they they may have gotten shrunk in it right but he had them yeah definitely smaller but yes <laughs> yeah our boys cling to our bodies. Huh? Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> so you've worked in television and film. Um, what are uh, some of the differences um, as an actress working in those different mediums? Um, well, I've always been like guest stars on TV, never like a series regular. But um, guest starring is 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 different than a movie. It's it's they they have their shit down so to say they 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 know everything is fast they can get you in there for one day and do you know 10 scenes whereas in a movie it just takes a lot lot longer the crews you know they've been together for years so they all know what to do and and in the respect of acting it's harder in a tv show because it is going faster because you don't have the time to do five takes if you want to you don't have a director who's invested an entire movie in you they're just you're just on it for you know two weeks so they're not gonna take as much time so it's it's harder in a way yeah. but um it's nice too i like i like both i like both a lot yeah definitely yeah Wait, um, if you were offered a series would you be open to that it depends on the series i don't yeah. think it if it was like a WB series, for example, I don't think I'd want to be in like a One Tree Hill esque kind yeah, of show. Yeah. Um, but if it was like a really good drama or something, Lost. yeah, something like you know that makes actually a difference and people like really want to watch, yeah, yeah. grown ups want to watch, then yeah, I think I think it'd be nice because I get to stay in one area and not have to travel all over and you know nine to five kind of job. That would be nice, yeah. Yeah, because I'm working on a film set. I mean, it's what, 14, 16 hours a day usually? Or? At least, yeah. And you're usually not in your hometown. You know, you're in a hotel. You're living out of a, you know, a bag and you don't really know anyone. Yeah, uh -huh. it's 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 hard sometimes. Yeah. yeah, it's weird. And Jimmy and Judy, you were in Kentucky. Was that your first time there? Definitely. Yeah, my first time in Kentucky. Yeah, and one of the uh, directors was from there. So he'd take us around and show us everything. And okay. Weird little towns in there somewhere. <laughs> it's yeah, funny. Yeah. yeah, he took us to a town called like Rabbit, Rabbit Hash or something. It was literally like a general store and like a hog roasting um, like barrel outside. And that was it. But it was a whole town. I don't know. <laughs> it was definitely an experience. Yeah, it was cool. Oh, was cool. What was, when you read the script, what was the connection that you felt with Judy, the character? Honestly, it was a little scary, but I kind of felt like if I had grown up in different circumstances, if I had, you know, been in a small town, not had the same mom that I grew up with, you know, had different parents, 
could have been me had I been younger and some guy actually was nice to me. Uh-huh. Could have been me. Judy is a lot like me, except younger, more innocent in a way. Kind of naive, on that same more innocent, just naive about a lot of things in the world. And um, a younger version of me in a lot of ways, yeah. So. Easy yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, now the movie The Ring that was your, that was kind of about your breakout role, uh, I assume. Yeah, I guess so. It's weird because I started acting when I was eight years old okay. in New York, and I did a lot of independent movies, and like I was on ER and like some shows, and I won awards, and then I quit when I was thirteen, uh-huh. and then started again when I was almost eighteen. So, yeah, I think a lot a lot of people recognize me or used to from like. I was in A Little Princess, I was in The Crucible, but I look like a little kid. So, yeah, as an adult, yeah, everyone seems to say that. Yeah, definitely The Ring. (laughs) Yeah, Everyone remembers me from that movie, even though I have such a small part. It's funny. If you weren't an actress, um, what would you be doing? (sighs) uh, I don't know. Uh, Probably... Uh, something stupid like a teacher, probably. I don't know. That's not stupid. <laughs> I know, but everyone says a teacher. I don't know. I've been noticing that lately. That oh, they really? own. Yeah, I'd well, want to be a professor, cliche. though. Yeah, cliche. Okay. I'd want to be a professor, though. That gets paid, you know, real oh. money. Okay. So yeah, I'd, that's what my aunt is. I think it's a good job. Yeah, okay. yeah professor. Oh, and then I'm going to ask you something because I'm a total fame horror when it comes to Zach Galifianakis and you worked with him on True Calling. Yeah. How, oh, how, how was that? He is the funniest guy I've ever met. Oh, yeah. He is hilarious. And I actually had no scenes with him, but I saw him in the van and I saw him on set. And yeah. he's just hilarious. He tried taking me to Seattle and going to some comedy show. Uh-huh. He's just, he's a funny guy. And I saw that, that, mo- that documentary movie forgot what it was called that he was in with three other comedians he is hands down hilarious yeah and really nice yeah very cool guy yeah his talent scares me but, <laughs> I mean, yeah a little bit he's he's yeah. a little crazy and that's good he's yeah. great yeah definitely have you seen his jimmy kimmel segments no i haven't i never watched jimmy kimmel i'm bad oh, okay. i don't watch regular tv horrible i watch cable but that's about it oh yeah, yeah. i got rabbit ears so. <laughs> oh there you go <laughs> um Rachel Bella, thank you so much for talking with me today. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.